Are you ready for today? Yeah. So let's start. You have a pencil and paper? Yes. Okay. Now I will share the screen with you. Let's start with a question number one and question number two. Start reading the question. Just try with yourself, then I can explain for you. I can give you notes if you need. In the square, you can see the digits from one to nine. A number is created by starting the star. So the star is the first number. Following the line and writing down the digits along the line while passing from that look like this example. So you will start from the star and go. So the number will be 42,685. Which of the following lines represent the largest? And if I wanted the largest number, that means the greatest place value must be a large digit. So just take care of this. Who say done? Who say done? No one. Miss, I wrote in the chat. Uh, chat not working because of the internet, so you can just tell me. E. The first question is E. So uh, what about the others? Only Azaya answered. Mm, what's your opinion? Okay, good job, Adia. So why you choose E? Because the star is on nine, then it goes to eight, then six, then five, and excellent. Good job. A big star for you. Now the next question. Anyone wants to ask about this? Okay, let's go to the next question. Benan, Lena, Kinda. Are you ready for the next question? Question number two. Now try with yourself and I will help you. You have five, uh, beaters have uh, five sisters with the age of two, three, five, and eight, and 10, and 17. Beaters uh, writes these edges on the circles of the opposite diagram so that the sum of the edges of four corners, so take care about the word four four corners must must be with the four lines aware uh, of the square is equal to the sum of the edge in the four circles aligned horizontally which of the sum Now, Banan, you finished? Banan, you finished? No. Okay, you have time. And this question will be with the four marks.
sorry about the interruption now who can who finished you need more time or you need the help who say done we're the smartest girls in the world who say done 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 Adeye, you finished. Banan, you need the help. I can explain if you need. We can skip this from the competition and I can explain for you if you need. You don't understand? You need the help? Yeah. Okay. Banan? Yes. You need the help also or you finished? Help. Okay, let's start. Uh, can you read the question? Okay, Beat Rise has five sisters with ages of two, three, five, eight, ten, and seventeen. Beat Rise uh, writes these ages in the circle of the opposite diagram so that the sum of the ages in the four corners of the square is equal to the sum of the ages in the four circles align horizontally. What is the sum? Okay, so it's going to be what? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> okay, now the five sisters, two and three and five, eight and ten. He, he write them on the circles. So the summation for a four corners, this is the four corners. The summation of the four corners is equal to the summation of the edges in the four circles aligned horizontally, this. Horizontally here. So we have to put the numbers around to be uh, the same with the numbers from this side. So now, can you try with yourself if you understand, or I will keep trying with you? What is the sum for the four numbers? We just need the sum here. Hmm. Anyone know the answer? Anyone know the answer? OK, we can mark this question. No one know the answer. OK, Adia, how can you think about this now? We need the four numbers. Uh, on the square like this to be the same addition for here. So you have two numbers common. Only two numbers will be different. So this number and this number will be just different. So we have two common and two different. Adeya, do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. OK, you keep trying. Okay. Banan, do you finished?
Smith? Hmm? Is it 2, 3, 5, and 10? Yes, this is the numbers. I just need a sum. There is more than one possible value? Mm-mm. Okay. No. Benan, what's your opinion? I don't know. Okay, which numbers will be common? Two. Two and? Ten. What? Two and ten. Two and ten. Two is correct. Think about ten again. Two and eight. <laughs> Think again. Two and? Any number? Mm -mm. You need a number. So the submission for these two numbers in a black will be the same submission for this other two numbers because this is too common. This is the last hint. Then I will solve. Okay, we would take more time, so we will leave this question to the last. Let's take question number three, okay? Now, question number three, who finished? This is easy. So if you found any question in the exam, you, it will take more time. Just make a mark and let's go to the next. On the circle there, the number from zero to 10, uh, the different numbers, the five, Submission, the five submission for three numbers written on each diameter, like this. This is the diameter, or this is a diameter also. Must be odd. So the submission must be odd. Take care. If one of these submission is the smallest possible, what will be the largest possible value of the remaining sum? So only one will be a smallest, of course, one will be. The largest. We need which one will be the largest. Now think. And it's different numbers. From 0 to 10. And the diameter, you will collect the submission. Who finished? Who finished? Who finished? This is easy. Okay, we'll leave you time to think. Yes, you reach at the true answer. You get the true answer. I think. 
15. It's going to be what? Uh, 15. Mm, no. Okay. Bayan, it's going to be how many? Bayan, you keep trying, okay. Who say done? Miss, okay. It's what? A or C. A, good job. How can you get A? Can you explain for us? Because I counted. What? Because I counted. Okay. Yeah, so how can you get 13? Because hmm. I put it around the circle, then I added them up. Okay, so what will be the numbers on the circles? Um, from zero to ten. Okay, so the first number you try. How can I think about this? The first number I will try. Uh, the first number should be the first number on the row. Mm -hmm. Three. Three? Okay. Yes. And then? And then the second number is... Uh, ten. No. The second number will be what? Nine. Nine? No. Okay, let me see. I'm yeah, it's... Here, you mean, right? And? Yeah, then I just some uh, rounded it to the closest number. <laughs> so it's going to be one. Then if you put zero here, it's going to be four. Is it right till now? Mm-hmm. Yes, you are true. Okay, let's go to the next question. Excellent, good job. Now this question, the following figures shows five paths indicated by the thickness lines between X and Y binds. Which of these paths is the longest? So I will give you the hint. For me, I make this cancelled one by one. And I just count the arcs. The circle inside the uh, the first the first circle inside, I make it with a one, and the second I count as a two, and I the third I count as a three. Then I get the longest path. Now you can try with yourself.
Miss? Hmm? I think it's A. Mm, think again. When I collect, I found A equals one, two, four, six, nine, twelve. If I count from here, one, three, five, and another three will be eight. Eight and three will be um, eleven. When I count, see one, two, four, six, and six and three equals nine. When I count D, one, two, four, six, nine. 12, like this, 1, 3, 5, 8, and 11. So what I'm saying wrong. Six, nine, and here will be twelve. Two, four, six. Yeah, you are true. It's A. You are true, Adi. Excellent. Benan, what's your opinion? You get A also? Benan, also you get eight? Yes, but for D, I also got 12. For question number D? Yeah, maybe this question is wrong, but I take from the exams. So I will check again. Now try with the question number five. Question number five is easy. You will not take time for it. Yeah, the question before the exam is wrong. Uh, the exam is uh, wants the shortest one, not the longest. So when you found two are the same, you are true. This, uh, this word is wrong. We need the shortest one. So the shortest will be C. But you are true, so you will get the mark. Just the exam uh, has a mistake. Now let's go to the question down. Miss, I think I know the answer to the question down. OK, so can you explain for us? Um, it, it said that um, he turns the thing at the same amount of times in the same direction. Yeah, good job. It's saying which one's not correct, and I think it's C because when you good turn... job, brilliant, brilliant you are, excellent. Because uh, all of this is correct. Only see when you found the turn, you will found the turn with the wrong pattern, right? You will found the wrong pattern. From here to get four, 
you need to flip it to turn it two times but to get a three you will need to turn more so the pattern is different right banan yeah okay so uh, anyone has a question about this okay let's go down in the addition sum to the right three digits have been replaced with the stars how big is the sum of the three missing digits this is easy Yes. Hmm. Is it A? Good job. Who answered? Adia. Adia. Wow. Why? Because it's they're all one hundred two. Then if you add up two, three, and four, oh. Um, yeah. There is no regrouping here because it's a three hundred. So only a three numbers can give me a zero. Is a zero. Excellent. Benan, do you have any question about this? No. Okay, let's go down. Here you need to think. Each day, Maria writes down the date and then add together individual. For uh, 23rd March, so she will add 2 plus 3 plus 0 plus 3 and calculate it and found it. What is the largest total she make in this way? Remember, to get the largest number is a nine. The largest digit will be a nine. So to get a largest date, a largest total of date, you have to use the, uh, the largest digit. That's only a hint for you. Now try. Is it A? Okay, I will see just a second. No, check again. The largest. Are they yet? Do you find the answer? No. Is so when you need the help, tell me. Is it C? C, let me see. No. Now we cancel two chooses. Okay, let me help you. Is it E? <laughs> now we finished all the chooses. I will answer. Are they you find the answer? No. Okay. About the days, about the days, the largest day may be 30 or 31. But when we add, no, it's the smallest. So I will look at the largest digit. For the, large, the largest digit, I have, of course, 9, 9, 19, 29. Can I get to 39 on the days? 29. Yeah, okay. so the day will be at 29. And for a month, okay, the largest month will be 12. But when I add, yeah. it's going to be 3. 
So let's go to the largest digit. The largest digit from the day is, uh, uh, sorry, from the month. The largest digit for a month. Nine. Nine. Now try to add, you will get. Twenty two plus nine plus nine, nine plus nine, eighteen, eighteen plus two, it's gonna be twenty. You understand it now, Adia? Uh, I said E. Yeah, I know, but you said most of the, <laughs> the chooses, so I explain. Yes, I understand. Okay, now question number eight. I will just give you also a hint. The area of a rectangle, the area of a rectangle, the rule of the area of a rectangle, who remember? The rule. Yesterday I gave you the rule for the perimeter and also the rule for the area. So who remember the rule for the area? Width and length. Length times width. And the rule for the perimeter all the exams uh, for King Arrow uh, always has a rectangle. Sometimes perimeter, sometimes area. So you have to save the rule. The rule is two lengths plus two widths. Now you can solve. A rectangle has area 12 centimeters. The lengths of the sides are natural, natural numbers, so it will be not decimal. Which perimeter could the rectangle have? The area is 12. So you will have the length and the width. Then you will get the perimeter. Now, just uh, I will give you the time to try, then I will help you. Now you fin who finished? Who finished? Is it okay. D? D? No. Okay, can you think with me? How can I get the lens and the widths? Okay, I just have the area. I just have the area. So the area is a length multiply width. 12 we get from 3 multiply 4 or 2 multiply 6 or 1 multiply 12. So now let's get the parameters and the number we will found from the chooses. The parameter is 2 and 2. 2 from the 3 will be 6, 2, 4 will be 8, so 4 and uh, 6 and 8 will be 14. No, we don't found 14, so cancelled. 2 multiply 2 is 4, 6 multiply 6 is 12, 4 and 12 will be... Mm. 16. Good job. Also, I don't found 16. Now, 1 multiply 2 is 2. 12 multiply 2 is 24. So 2 and 24 will be? 26. So it's going to be? 26. Yeah, B. Now you understand? How can I think about this? But if I don't, if I don't save the rules, I will get 0. You must save these rules. The perimeter is two lengths plus two widths, and the area will be lengths times widths. Uh, in the square, the lengths and the widths are equal. 
in the square, the lengths and the widths are equal. OK. Anyone has a question about this? Anyone yep. has a question? OK, let's go do that down. Now, question number nine. Each plant in John's garden has exactly five leaves and, or two leaves and a flower. So sometimes you will found this, sometimes you will found this. OK, in total, the plants have six flowers. So we have six from this type. And 32 leaves. How many plants are growing in the garden? I think you have to draw. Take, a, take care about this word, 32 leaves. So it's going to be how many plants? How many plants? I can help you if you need. Hmm. Are they a banana, caddy? Hmm. You need a help? Just a second. Okay. Is it B? Mm -mm. Think again. At the first, I have to draw the flowers. It's e. a six flowers. Wait, it's a six flowers. No, no, E. It's a six flowers. Okay, so each flower has two leaves. Two multiply six is. I'm sorry. Two multiply six is 12. So yes. now from the 32, you take a 12. The lift will be how many? And it's going to be how many from this leaves? Then you can collect. This is the hint for you. So now you have a six of flowers and how many from this type who has six, uh, who has five leaves? You take already 12 with the flowers. So the, the lift will be how many are there? Mrs. Enter 12. Mm -mm. I already take a 12 from the 32. So the lift will be. The lift will be 20. 20 divide 5. 20 divide 5 leaves. It's going to be. 20 divide 5 leaves. It's going to be. 4. Four, four leaves and six flowers. So the total will be. Ten. Ten. Now you understand? Yes. OK, let's go to down with the next question. This question I will solve with you, OK, because uh, some. Sometimes it's hard. It's a little hard for you, so I will solve. OK, but you will help me. Uh, Benen, can you read the question? Benen, can you read the question? Yes. OK. Andrea has four equally long strips of paper when she glues two together with an overlap of 
10 centimeters, she gets a strip 50 centimeters long. Yeah. So now the line equals how many till now? Uh, the line equals how many? If there is 50 and you take 10 common. So only the one line equals all of this is the 50, right? 10 common. So the one line will equals 50. Uh -uh. The two together will be 50, but I just need the one line. 10. Is it 25? Uh, you nearest to the real answer. It's not 25. You just near to the answer. Look, this is common. So it's not five, it's 10. 10 and 20. 10 and 20. If you add all of them, it's going to be 60. But if this is common, so it's going to be 10, it's going to be 50, right? Yes. You understand this? So now only this line will be 30. Okay? Okay. Now, with the other two, she wants to make 56. So what will be the common, the overlap? 56, so there is number will be most common here. Which number will be common? With the same 60, 30 and 30. Give you a hint or let you to think Four. Good job. Four. Who gave the answer? Benan? Adia. Adia. Wow. Five marks. There is this question is from the five marks. Benan, you understand how can we give the four? Yeah. Yeah. 30 and 30 will be 60. 60 minus 56 will be four. So if it's four here and four here, so to get the total as a 60, it's going to be 26. But 26 plus 26 plus 4 common will be 56. You understand now how can I get the 4? Because the total is 60. Minus 10, you get 50. Also, the total is 60. Minus 56, you will get 4. You understand now? Do you understand? I think yes. So let's go down with the next question. Question number 11. The question number 11 is easy for you. The diagram shows three hexagon with the, the numbers at the vertices, uh, but some numbers are invisible. The submission of the six numbers around each hexagon is 30. What is the number on a vertex marked by the question mark? To give you a hint, you have to collect this and subtract from 30. Collect and subtract from 30. Then you will get the two numbers and you will find the missing number. Hmm. Anyone solved it? Yes, I think I know the answer. And the answer will be? Four. Good job. Who say the answer? Lena. Lena, big heart for you. How can you give the four? 
I first added three, six, one, and two. Yeah, and so that, you get um twelve. Twelve. And yeah. then I added two more numbers, which was seven and nine, and I got thirteen. Anything. Uh oh. just the total here will be eighteen. That's what I need. Mm. Because uh, the question not say uh, numbers uh, different, so I can put any numbers I need, but the total will be 18. Okay, and here the, the missing number will be as a total equals. When we add 4, uh, 6, 9, and 4, it's going to be 23. So the, the total will be, we need just 7 to make a submission, 30, right? Now, 7, 1, and 18, it's going to be um, 26. So only four to get a submission 30. Good job. Excellent. Now, question number 12. Remember, remember the area for the rectangle and the perimeter for the rectangle. The rule again, the area equals length times width. And the perimeter, two lengths plus two widths but you will just need here the area. Three rectangles of the same height are pos positions uh, as shown. The numbers within the rectangle indicate their area in centimeters. And AB equals six. Now we need CD equals how many? You just have the area. And remember, the three rectangles have the same length. This, these lines are the same. These sides are the same because it's parallel. Just I will give you time to think, then I will answer with you. Is it eight centimeters? Who solved? Who solved? Uh, it's me, Mashal. Super, Mashal. We missed you. Good job, Mashal. How can you get the eight? Also, sometimes you can guess the the answer. In a math, you just sometimes feel the answer. But here, how can you get the eight? Mm, I can give you a hint. For this rectangle. For this rectangle, you have the area equals 12 and 18, so it's going to be 30. And you have a length equals 6, so 6 times how many give me 30? 6 times 5. Now I need for this, so 5, 5, 5, 5. The same width. Now for this rectangle, CD rectangle. The area equals how many? Mashal, the area equals how many? 18 and 22. 18 and 22 will get 40. 40, yeah. 40 divide 5. Because 5 times how many give me 40? So 5 times 8. Good job. Excellent. Anyone has a question about this? Anyone has a question? Adaya, you understand? Bayan? Yes. Lena, Kedi, all of you understand? Yes. Good job. Let's go down. This question is easy. Don't care about all of this, but it's easy. It's just a little hint, I will tell you. Uh, the little we, uh, who can read? Mashayal, you can read the question. Mashayal, can you read the question? Right. Yes. The, uh, the first letter is T, but it's covered. So okay. the little, the little uh, which uh, is making part in broomstick flying competition, that is carried out in five rounds. The times in which he she crossed the starting line can be seen in the table. Which round was her fa fastest? Fastest. So the fastest must take little time. The least time that the round take. Which round take the least time? So it's easy. 
who can say the answer the first today? Which round will be the least? Mm -mm. Lock the first round between 9 and 55 till 26. So you have a 26 minutes, also a 5 minutes from here. 5 and 26 will be 31 minutes. Still keep counting between each round and you will find the fastest one. The fastest one will take little time, the least time for all of them. So it's not may, when you keep trying, you will found it's not a. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who can say the answer the first? Is it the fourth? Mm -mm. Let's count the fourth. OK, I will count with you now between 26 and 54. There's four minutes to get 30 and after 30, 24. So four and 24 will be 28. Then from 54 to 28, already I have a 28. And from 54 to get 11 o'clock, I have 6. So 28 and 6 will be 34. Between 28 and 3, already I have a 3 minutes at 12. And from 11 and 28 to get 12 o'clock, I have 32. So 32 and 3 will be 35. Lock 35 minutes. So from round four, from 12 and three till uh, 12 and 32, 32 minus uh, three will be 29. So now, which round take the least time? The second. Yes. Any question about this? All of you understand? Any questions? No. OK, let's go down. I love playing with the numbers, so you will love this question. If the three digits of a three digit number are multiplied, so you have a three digits of a number, but after this we multiply, which result do, do you get by adding? So I need to get the three numbers, then I multiply them so I can get 135. After getting the three numbers, I will add. So which numbers? Just I will give you a little hint. To, to multiply a numbers and get the ones five, so you must multiply by five. So one digit of them is a five. So you can divide by a five and get the two other numbers. This is the hint for you to get a ones to get a ones five. That's mean you must multiply by five. So now three numbers multiply give me 135. So when I divide by five, I will get the two numbers multiplied. Then I can add all of them and get the number. Mm -hmm. So we do 135 divided by 5? Yes. Why I will divide by 5? Because I found the 1's equals 5. You need the help? No. OK, I can make uh, the long division with you because it will take more time. 13 divide 5 will be 2. Then it's going to be 3. Now 35 divide 5 equals 7. 
So it's going to be 27. Teacher, I will add 5 and 2 and 7. No, 27 is multiplied for other two numbers. So it's going to be 5 and which two numbers multiplied give me 27? I make the long division with an easy way. So 13 divide 5. I just take a 10 and the left will be a 3. So I subtract in my mind. Now, which two numbers give me 27? And after this, I will add the three digits. Mm. Okay, just because of time, I will help you. Which two numbers give me 27, Banan? Banan, which two numbers give me 27? Which two numbers, when I multiply, give me 27? Three and? Three and what give me 27? Which two numbers? Three times nine, right? Yes. So now, how can I solve at the first I divide by five? Because I found the ones is five. So after this, after dividing, I found 27. So I think which two numbers give me 20, 27? Maybe one times 27, but we say digits. So the digit must be one digit. So I Miss, think it's a three times nine, yes. Uh, is the three digits is a three times nine times five? Yes, excellent. But we don't need the digits. We need the summation of the digits. So three plus five plus nine. Three plus five, eight, eight plus nine equals 17. Any question about this? Yeah, excellent. Any questions? No. So this question depends on looking at the ones only. OK. Take care about all of this things. Uh, if you wanted to solve question 15 and 16, I will be happy and you can tell me the answer tomorrow. You can capture the screen if you want. Capture the screen, then we can continue 15 and 16 tomorrow. Sorry because the uh, chat box not opening today, just a problem on the teams for me. Miss, will we answer them in school? What? Will we answer 15 and 16 in school? Uh, in the school, we have another uh, examples we will take. So only 15 and 16 uh, we will take tomorrow at the first. I will see who will solve it correctly. So now okay. can you capture the screen? Because okay. I already bought a homework on the uh, academy, but uh, Bikichur is not open. So now if you can capture the screen, I would be happy. And try with yourself. And tomorrow I will help you to solve. OK, I captured it. Thank you. If someone can capture also, can you send on the chat box? Yeah. Thank you, I will be happy. Thanks for all of you. Love you. You are the best as always. Any questions? Anyone has a question about today? Thank you. Bye. Love you.